Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is February 6, 2020 and I just got to leave SJSU to go to the BTA board meeting. And today is a very exciting board meeting because for the first time ever, they're going to be voting on an action item that was suggested by members of the public, including myself. And that action item is to declare a climate emergency. I reacted to the agenda item for this in my last video, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll link the video down below. But I'm really excited for the meeting and I'm so excited to speak on this item and I really hope that everything goes well. I'm back home now, it's pretty late. But the item passed unanimously, which is really amazing. And then I also went to the Democratic Party Central Committee for my county, which was also in the same building. And they passed a resolution supporting the VTA climate emergency measure B reallocation to improve bus service and some other VTA policy changes, which was also really amazing. The party hasn't always been the best on these sorts of things, but they've really come around. So I'm really excited and hopeful and things are finally moving in the right direction. I'm really tired right now, so I'm not going to talk too much tonight, but I'll say some more things tomorrow when I'm a little bit more well rested. So it's a few days later now and I just want to fill you all in a little bit more on what happened at the board meeting because I was really tired on Thursday night. So I didn't really talk that much about it. Basically, it was one of the most incredible nights of my entire life. I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but this is the first time the transit agency has ever declared a climate emergency. And it's also the first time that VTA has ever voted on an action item that was requested by members of the public. And the resolution also passed unanimously, which was also really great. I expected it to pass unanimously because it kind of makes you look bad if you vote against a climate emergency resolution. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm really excited about the climate action plan that they're going to be developing and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the future. They also put out a statement the next day on their website and I'm going to read a little bit of it because it's really cool and they're going to be doing some really cool things. So it says the VTA board took a historic step by approving a declaration of climate emergency that emphasizes organizations ongoing work to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and reduce congestion. VTA is believed to be the first transit agency in the country to make such a declaration. This action reasserts a commitment to, develop, to developing VTA's climate action plan. As an added focus on this critical issue, General Manager Nuria Fernandez announced VTA is planning a summit which will engage youth from throughout Santa Clara County in transportation advocacy efforts to sustain our planet. We want to engage the energy and passion we've seen from these championing this declaration at our meetings in our fight against climate change. Partners who have committed to this event so far include the Silicon Valley Youth Climate Action, the Minnesota Transportation Institute, and the offices of board member Dave Cortezzi and board chair and president of the Board of Supervisors, Cindy Chavez. So all of this is really exciting and I don't really know how to react to it because things were so bad for so long. I actually found out about the Climate Summit a few days before the board meeting because they actually emailed Don, who's Dave Cortez's chief of staff about it. And I was really shocked when I saw it. The last few days have been really awesome because the San Jose Spotlight did an article about this. And the picture that they picked of it is of me. So people have been recognizing me from the picture and stuff in real life, which has been really, really cool. And I've been running into a lot of people that didn't believe in me and didn't believe that we could actually change PTA, but we did and we proved them wrong. Until pretty recently, there were very few people that actually believed in us. And especially in the beginning, it was really hard to do this without support from people that I looked up to but we did it anyways and we proved them wrong. I have some really exciting things that are hopefully going to be happening soon. So I guess the lesson for all of you is just to go out and do things even if people say that it's impossible and even if people believe that it's impossible and even if you believe that it's impossible because I honestly believe that all this was impossible. I just wanted to try so that when things went wrong I could at least say that I tried my best to stop them. But now things are happening for me and for the bus community here and you can make things happen for your community too. This has been a really long and difficult journey and it's, I started this well over a year ago and it's still not over yet but it's just been really really cool to see all this progress be made and to see VTA actually make history by doing something positive. So I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this video. So thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye!